be difficult to, 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 to sidestep. It's very difficult to slip. It's very, it's, it's very potent, man. Oh my god! Dang, bro! Alright, boys, welcome to the very first UFC 293 Fighter Showcase. Um, so Kai Carl France was supposed to face uh, Manel Cape, I believe, but the fight got canceled. But uh, it, it, it's such a good, he's such a good fighter to watch. Kind of, I didn't want to not make a showcase for him. So we're doing a showcase, anyways. I don't care. Stay down. Stay down. My opponent decided to roll it with uh, Brandon Royval. Excuse me. Dude, what is this defense? Okay. Oh, wow. He is using everything. He's lunging, moving his head. He's using the stiff arm retreat. He's really trying to fight tall. I respect it. <laughs> okay. It's been a long time since I saw somebody consistently using that stiff arm retreat. The only thing with that stiff arm retreat, of course, is that it, you know, it burns stamina. It burns through your short-term stamina and also your long-term stamina. So it's not really something that I particularly like to use often just because of the effect it has on stamina. In my opinion, I think that effect on stamina should be removed. I really think so. And, but I think to balance it out... It's just, just not every fighter should be able to do it, in my opinion, right? I think it should be reserved for certain fighters, in my opinion. Fighters that we've seen actually used a defense like that. Like kick. Wow, he's really... The only problem with his style is that all I really have to worry about is him being defensive. I just got to worry about, like, just tracking him. That's really it. I'm not too worried about being hurt. I'm not too worried about his own offense. That's the only problem with, with being the guy that's trying to be defensive and be, you know, and all that and move and see, like, I just have to just track him. That's... I'm worried about being offensive. I'm worried about, like, landing shots. He's worried about not getting hit. And that's making him not worry enough about actually hitting me. You know what I mean? It's, it's a fine line to, work, to walk. And with all this defense, you know, it's, his, his stamina is still going to get low. As you can see, just all the movements he's making, it's just costing him too much with stamina. Which is why it's like the best the best way to be defensive in, in this game a lot of times is just keep things as simple as possible. Um, lunging and moving and using the stiff arm retreat and all that stuff. You know, it can look very cool for sure. It can look very cool and just make you look super nice as you're moving and, and being fleet footed and running circles around your opponent. But it's just not a sustainable style for, especially if the fight is longer. You know what I mean? I look at look at the stamina di di difference right here. This is quite significant. And it's only round number two, so in my opinion, this is only going to get worse, and I'm eventually going to get him out of here. Unless he lands a clean shot and gets me out of here. I suspect we're going to finish him. If I was uh, fighting five rounds, I would probably be fighting him a bit slower than I am right now. Um, I would just take my time and break him down. But we've got... We've got three rounds to walk. To work. Jesus Christ. Can't talk today. 
We've got three rounds to work, so. Hey, hey, hey. nice. Are you shooting on me, sir? Can I dump him? He denied it. There we go. Watch it. Blocking my leg kicks very well. <clears throat> I'm also doing a good job cutting off the cage. At least trying to. It's very important. <clears throat> to the body. Woo! Too far. We're getting closer now. We're getting much closer to hurting this man. Stay down, stay down. Thank you. To the body. He switches his stance. Are we about to get into a stance switching war right now, sir? I hope not. There we go. To the body. Yeah, see right here, he's trapped. He's feeling very, very claustrophobic. I'm making the cage smaller. He's starting to shoot on me, which tells me everything I need to know. Um, it is only a matter of time before we get this man out of here. His stamina is going down really fast. It's just not sustainable, man. It really isn't. There we go. The moment he made that, that small movement, we had to attack the body. Remember, you do more damage to the body and you actually affect their stamina a lot more if you can hit them while their short-term stamina is already low. So, just something to keep in mind. <coughs> I've been having a weird fucking cough. I don't know what the hell. So, sorry about that. So, yeah, when your opponent's stam short-term stamina is low, that's the best time to attack the body. Because you're going to reduce your stamina health and you actually do more damage, period. So, when they perform a big action and they're low on stamina, that's usually the best time to start looking for those body shots. And in this fight, I am using a fairly strong weapon with that spin to the body to work his, to work his, his body. There we go, team to the body. Bump! Oh, he's hurt. Not good, not good for you, sir. There we go. I kind of want to cartwheel this man. Nope. To the body, to the body, to the body, to the body, to the body. I am looking to spin on you again. There we go. See how hard, see how gassed he is right now? Sir, <laughs> hey man, great fight to you. We found the shot. We found it. Watch that! Boom! Oh, oh, that's beautiful. That is gorgeous. All right, let's move on. Freaking calf. Yeah, let's get it. Thank you.
He wants to leg kick me. All right, that's the game plan. Game plan is to kick me legs. He wants to kick me legs. No, 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 no. Right there. A lot of times when players want to kick your legs, <clears throat> the best way to deal with that, oh, oh, oh my God. Saw my life flash before my eyes right there. Okay, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. You're, you're, you're trying to see if you can get me with a round, with a big round attack. You go jab straight, then you go jab straight, then you follow up with a jab into a spinning back fist. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Nah, not enough. Oh, shit. Nope. <clears throat> A lot of times, the best way to deal with, with those guys is to kick their legs back. And, of course, also to crowd them from time to time. So they're not able to just... This match is lagging so much. Okay. Damn. Back up. Nope. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. I see. I see. I'm going to have to really watch out for you because I don't know all that you got. In that damn Creative Fighter 2 set. So I gotta watch out for, for everything now, huh? When you whiff, I gotta be careful. Watch out for the spinning back fist. He's probably, he's probably waiting to start whipping the spinning elbows at me, too. No. And he's got that Stephen Wonderboy Thompson um, stance and movement. So he has access to Stephen Wonderboy Thompson's moves as well. He's got the, the Wonderboy roundhouse. He's got the Wonderboy leg kick, I'm pretty sure. Come here. No! No, 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 no. I'm not going to try to submit you either. we will land a bit of ground and pound, sir. Where's my damn glasses anyways? Oh. Woo! Oh. <clears throat> my man looking like Benson Henderson. Looking like Bendo. Yeah, that cross into the lead uppercut. <coughs> there are definitely some some worries. Like I said, he he already threw that that like that whiff, that roundhouse whiff into the into the the, the turning side kick to the head. It was a wheel kick. It was either a turning side kick to the head or a wheel kick. The turning side kick to the head is way worse than the wheel kick because that that has super tracking and like. That kick is so busted, so I need to really watch out for that if he starts throwing that, that particular kick. That's what we're going to really need to. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Wow! That was... Woo! Sir, you leaned right into that one. Man. You leaned directly head first into that shot. Look at that. Boom. Oh. oh, oh ah. Woo. Boom. Oh. Gorgeous shot. Absolutely gorgeous shot. I will take that, man. I will take that. And uh, we'll probably do probably do one more. Dog, this player, I am familiar with him. I don't remember how he plays, but I've met him before. So, I know he's good. Thank you. 
What is your plan, sir? What is your plan? What is your plan? Don't start. Don't start. Don't start, bro. He is trying to brute force me over and over again. He's just trying to brute force me. Want to head kick. Jab into the spinning back fist. Yeah, he's fishing for very hard counters and very hard brute force finishes. Hold on. There we go. Oh my god, he's that he's really doing it. That turn in side kick to the head is quite busted. Um you gotta be very careful when you're facing someone that's doing it. It's very difficult to to, to, to sidestep. It's very difficult to slip. It's very it's it's very potent, man. Oh my god! Dang, bro! Yeah, this is the way. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not even going as hard yet. Okay, that's it. Hey, man, look. Look, no no disrespect at all, but now I got to crowd you, sir. Now I got to crowd you. I can't I can't let you just throw that at will, bro. No way. Oh my god, he is just looking for big big brute force shots. There we go. No, not again. Not again, bro. Not again. Not again. Not again. Okay, so, so, so. Take my word for it on this one. If you run into a player that... It's it's one thing if they, if they do it once one time. Okay. They start throwing that jab into the turn-in sidekick to the head repeatedly. Understand... The whole, the bulk of their whole entire game plan revolves around that shot. Everything they do is in service of that shot. Every setup, every punch, every kick, it is in service of landing that shot on you. And it is brutal if it lands, I'm telling you. The tracking on that is extremely busted. It tracks you when you try to lunge. There we go. Yeah. I had to crowd him. I had to crowd him and take that away from him completely. It just had to be done. Because if I would have kept my distance, what would have happened is that he would have just like thrown it at will or thrown it on his own accord. Like at his own time when he fought, he would just set you up and just do it all over again. So you gotta crowd players like that and take that kick away from them, force them into boxing, into boxing with you. It's much better to exchange boxing combos with them than to have to try to deal with that kick because that kick bleeds through the block like crazy as well if they rock you and they sh chuck that shit at your block it, it i mean i've been knocked out more than a few times by that by that shot so i definitely know to take it very very seriously and you should as well so we'll leave it at that like i said kai carl franz is the fight was canceled unless it has been rebooked rebooked and i don't know i don't know but for now, it's been canceled, but I still had to do a fighter showcase for him. If you guys enjoyed the fight, leave a like on it, and uh, I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out.
Have a good one.